can choke you, you can do whatever. Okay? So the first rule is to make sure you can breathe. Okay? So, squeeze tighter. And tighter. So even though you squeeze this tighter, I can still breathe. Okay? It's only because I'm bridging the gap between my armpit and my shoulder here. It's, it's on my neck, but I can still breathe. Okay? If this starts to crank your neck, you've got to be really, really careful. Okay? So, first rule, okay, we don't panic. Because the more he tenses up, okay, the better it is for you. I know that sounds strange, okay, but the better it is for you. Because you know, when he's squeezed tight, I know, I can tell, by the way he's squeezing, all his body weight is right here. Okay, there you go. Now I don't know where he's going. He's a bit loose. Okay? I don't know which way he's going to go. But the moment he squeezes, I know that all his energy is up here and in his arms. Okay? If I wanted a bit of a breather, I'd reverse it for him. Okay? And come out the opposite way. Okay? So we've got from here. Okay? Breathe. We've got to breathe. Okay? So if you have to, pack your kennel. And it's all good. Okay? He might be squeezing, but it's up against my chin. But I can... I can breathe. Okay? So don't panic. Don't panic. Okay? Alright, so the second thing I'm going to do, right, do the side control. I've got this. I've got this on my side. I've got two legs. And I've got two arms. Okay? That I can do. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bridge like this. And you can do this. Watch. See that space? Look, that space around you. Keep that space. Okay, watch this. Watch that space between the ground and my hip and his abs. You ready? You ready? Watch. See that? Okay, we'll go back. One more. See that? I can do that. I can do that because all his energy is here. But, and I'm shifting my weight up with my hips. Make that gap, okay? Furthermore, I'm going to do this. To help me get all the way up, see my arm? I'm going to shove it out that way. Now watch, when I bridge my hips and shove this one up that way on 45, or straight across, watch this. Ready? Remember, he's on side control. Ready? Watch. Okay? Okay, now sit there. So side control, okay, I bridge, I shove my arm this way, okay, ready, here, look, look, I just created a bit of a gap here, okay, and all I'm going to do now is one, when I bridge, this knee is going to drive under this belly, like this. Yeah, I'm going to get in here. Yeah, he goes here. He goes here. Yeah, here. Shove here. Sorry, I forgot about this one. From here. 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 Stop his hip from coming in close. Okay. Then I raise my hips. Shove my arm this way. Up. Pull the knee in. Here. That's only one part. Okay. Then, see this arm here? As I pull my knee in. I shove in, see this one here? It's going to come to your head, back of your head. Okay? While you're hooking here. And then you're going to straighten up. Watch. Okay? You're going to straighten up. You can pull guard back in here. Here. Yeah. Okay? And here. Pull guard. And those guys were here last week. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm back here. Okay, the key to this one is your bridging. Okay, here. Here. Okay. So, from here, up. If it doesn't work the first time, you get the elbow in. Okay, and again, up. 
See how my knee? See how my knee as I raise up? My knee, as I'm going to the side, my knee, left knee, it's going through his abdomen. Driving in. Okay? This one here, trapping his arm as you're straightening up. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. He tries to pull his arm out. 